Lastly, I was live coding on Twitch and I got a question from Alejandro about how long does it take to learn how to code a medium-sized application if you are working 12 hours per day? I know it's not an easy question. I'm Jorge Ferreiro, software developer, and this is my answer. I think your main problem right now is that you are so much focused focus on the result. You are obsessed with the idea of, I want to have an application as soon as possible. And let me tell you something. That's the wrong, in my opinion, that's the wrong mindset to have. Because you are putting so much pressure to yourself because you want a quick result. And I'm not going to lie, like programming is not like today you, you do one bootcamp or today. Well, not a bootcamp, but programming is not like today you do like a course or you read a book and now you're like the master of the universe and you will be all the applications on your own. No, that doesn't work. Like it doesn't work. You need to put a lot of time. You need to put a lot of energy. I would suggest you, to you in particular, like instead of focusing so much about the outcome, about I want to build the application as of now, I want to have the application, focus on the process. If you choose to learn software or programming, don't rush. Don't rush, especially if you don't have the time. Another thing is that, Jorge, I want to do a completely change of my career. I want to like going from being an investor to be a software developer full-time, then I would tell, okay, awesome. You will have all the time in your, in your life, but not like working 12 hours per day. Are you really thinking that in one week or in two weeks, you will have a medium sized application ready and go for production and learn about front and back end databases, uh, CI, CD, how to make things in production. That's not going to work. That, that doesn't work. So my suggestion is stop give it a try to the react and a node.js course if you want otherwise just keep going with python etc but give it a try and relax stop thinking about oh yeah i want to i want to build this application as soon as possible stop thinking about that it's like yeah i want to learn this i want to enjoy the process because i want to build this application in in three months four months five months depends when I, whenever i am ready but I think that's super important mindset uh, to have. All right, so at this point, I know that many of you are actually looking for that number, like how long will it take for me to learn a new programming language? I wanna give you an example of how long did it take for me to learn React and why was it that short amount of time compared to learning something from scratch? Yeah, so in my case, it took me around two months to actually feel very confident with React. So in the first month, I was like, okay, yeah, I can do the job. And on the second month, I was like, all right, so I feel confident about this. Uh, the way I learned React, so I finished my internship I ha and I had a one month break until I started uh, my next job. So what I did was basically, uh, I bought the Udacity and another degree in React. I did a lot, uh, also other smaller courses uh, so I was doing that full time. I was basically allocating around eight hours to 10 hours per day, learning React and applying that to smaller projects, like pet projects, basically. And from that situation, I learned about React Native. I learned so I, I could create uh, mobile web applications with React and I was learning other technologies as well. So as you saw, in my case, it was two months to feel confident about that. And actually I was doing that full time. I had a lot of previous experience with vanilla JavaScript, with jQuery, and even with other programming languages that even they are not necessarily the same way or they directly map to another, you know, technology or framework. It helped to reduce the, 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 the learning curve, right? Because you are more familiarized with all the software concepts, with all the terminologies, with all the fundamentals. So, you know, uh, knowing Node.js, uh, so JavaScript on the back end, knowing Python, uh, Java, etc., it helped me to actually onboard into a new technology. So a good example of that is that when you join the React communities, you will start learning about composition versus inheritance and React actually encourages everybody to use composition. So the fact that I have previous experience 
with uh, Java, where inheritance is the thing, it helped me to actually understand the pros, the cons, and why composition was something that they were encouraging as well. So that's why I'm saying that the more you can learn from previous programming languages, the better. If it's the first time learning something new from scratch, then I would say that don't worry, like you will get there and you will have a lot of frustration, a lot of moments of joy and happiness, and that's part of the process and it's part of the learning curve. Now, in terms of um, communities and learning resources, I think the number one tip is that you actually need to find the people in those communities that can help you out, that can inspire you. So try to join Slack channels, Try to join Facebook groups about React, backend, frontend, web development, security, whatever you want to, as well as Reddit. Reddit, Reddit is a really great, great place to meet and to connect with people. Now, in terms of resources, I strongly recommend you to check out Coursera, FreeCodeCamp, uh, Udacity, as well as Udemy, for example, or Frontend Masters. Uh, in particular, Coursera is really great because you have super high quality courses for free. I did a lot of Udacity courses and nano degree, so those are my preference learning uh, courses as well as YouTube and other platforms. Like I learned so much from YouTube, from Twitch, uh, watching people coding. So those are places that you should definitely check out and make sure that you build your community around you so you can get mentors and you can get people helps that is 12 years five years, three years ahead of you. Finally, I want to give a couple of tips for those of you that are studying in the college and you don't have all the time in the world to learn something new or you are working and you want to do a transition or you simply want to learn how to code. Like a couple of tips about how can you actually do the transition, learn to code, keep improving. You're working 12 hours per day and to be honest, sometimes I do and, and, and in past uh, work experience, I also work that amount of time and I, I, I feel you, right? Because it arrives, you arrive home, you're so tired that you don't want to do anything. Then over the weekends, you want to rest and, and, and relax, right? So I know that. My suggestion is weekends are your goal. You should dedicate your weekends for learning as much as possible to code. From my experience using online learning tools, they suggest you that five, six hours per week to keep like a cadence. Uh, but bro, I mean, just put as much time as you can. Like over the weekends, you can actually do like 10 hours on Saturday, eight hours on Saturday, eight hours on Sunday, something like that. Or even you can do half, four and four and then relax and do other things. But if you really wanna do that, I would say that it all depends your intentions, how much do you wanna learn? But I would say two months, three months, four months to create a medium size app. Um, but even less, if you put more energy and more effort. Yay, thanks so much for watching. My conclusion is that when you ask a question, how long does it take for learning how to program? My answer is, you never stop learning. Honestly, programming is a long life learning process. And yeah, you can know more about this technology or this other technology, but actually it's, it, it, it never stops. To master something, to keep learning something, it will take longer. And you know, like the knowledge is so much infinite that there will never, an, there will never be an end. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I want to ask you, like, how long did it take for you to learn the basics of programming? And which language did you choose for that? Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this type of video, subscribe as well as watch more videos here and here and everywhere. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and see you very soon. Ciao.